What are some recent um, statistics for real estate in Chatham County for uh, 2022? So uh, we just went over the, the June numbers um, in our firm, but also the MLS data. And it's really interesting because um, we see, we all hear about the rising interest rates and, and no doubt that's a factor. Um, we also hear about, um, you know, people think that prices are going to go down. <clears throat> I don't, I'm not seeing anything really indicating that prices are going down. There's still a tremendous shortage of inventory. There's not a whole lot for sale and there's a lot of people coming to the area. I mean, I, I was blown away with what they said. Uh, it's like 40, 50 households a day in Charlotte, 20 to 30 households a day in the Raleigh Wake County area, you know, even five or 10 in Durham. I mean, it's just crazy how many people are moving. And I'm sure a bunch coming to, to Chatham as well. <clears throat> so as far as listings are concerned, uh, the, the numbers didn't change at all. Um, there was um, uh, roughly the same amount of inventory, like a, a 1% difference um, between June of 2021 and June of 2022. So a 1% increase. So that's that's not a big difference. Um, the contracts have, have definitely changed. Uh, those dropped by about 20%. So there's less going under contract. The closings are pretty close. We're down 10% for the number of closings uh, June 2022 compared. But 10%, that's really not that much of a difference. Um, the neat thing about closings and real estate is like June's not, the amount of closings you have in June doesn't really indicate what the market was in June. That indicates what the market was in April or May, you know, because it takes 45 to 60 days for people to close. <clears throat> the big one is uh, showings. Showings were down 30% in the Chatham area. So a lot, lot fewer showings. And so, you know, with that, with so fewer showings, we're definitely going to have fewer sales in the upcoming months. But I, I just don't see that affecting prices yet because there is so so little for sale. So um, the the purchasing power has definitely changed. I mean, the the rise in interest rates, what you can get a mortgage for in February or March compared to what you can get a mortgage for now, the difference in interest rate, the average person is about an eight hundred to a thousand dollars difference in what your payment would be. So if your payment was gonna be three thousand a month, now it's gonna be four thousand a month. That changes the purchasing power significantly. So you know somebody Somebody might have been able to buy a $600,000 house, but now they can only buy a $450,000 house only. I can't believe I'm saying that, but <laughs> there's 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 not a whole lot of there's not a whole lot of $450,000 homes for sale. So, and and let's say let's say that you know you could have afforded um, a $300,000 home, but now you can only afford a $200,000 home. I don't. We don't have any two hundred thousand dollar homes. I mean, they just don't exist. So, so I think that's going to have an impact. Uh, maybe not so much on prices, but certainly the number of sales. So, um, uh, interest rate. There's still uh, a huge shortage of inventory, but we still have a lot of people moving from from the west coast to the northeast. Um, I think when we see their slowdown because prices are still high in California, when we see their slowdown, that's gonna limit the purchasing power of those people, and, and we might see more of a slowdown then, but things have not slowed down yet.